Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Developing Prospects Baseball. Today I'm going to help you guys with a specific skill on how to make a diving catch. Not only am I gonna show you guys how to make that diving catch, but I'm, I'm sure you guys are struggling with that problem. Say you're at shortstop, you lay out and make a great diving catch, and then your player gets up and throws it over the fence, or gets up and can't make that throw. I'm gonna show you guys how to make that diving catch, and also how to make that perfect throw once you've made that amazing play. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing I want to emphasize for you guys is when we are going to make that diving play, the first thing I want your players and the whole key to making that diving play and completing that throw is we do not panic on the infield or in the outfield. So many times when we make that diving play, you know, we run over, we dive, we catch it. We want to catch that ball and get up as quick as we can and we throw it and we panic, okay? When we make that diving play, stay under control. So if you're a coach out there and you're talking infield play, outfield play, and you want to talk about that diving catch, remind your players to stay calm. If they stay calm, I guarantee they will make fewer throwing errors and they'll be able to complete that diving catch even better. So once you've reminded our players to stay calm and have that extra emphasis as a coach to tell your players to stay calm, we then want to practice how we're going to do that diving play. We want to make sure in baseball we're practicing game-like stuff. So. I'm standing here at shortstop right now, it's probably a little bit of a weird angle, but how we want to tell our players to do or we want to do a drill to practice that diving catch is we want to have all of our players go to their positions, okay? So if we're doing infield, have all the shortstops go to shortstop and whatnot. They, every player needs a ball, okay? You can do it with first basemen as well, I'll show that towards the end. But, so say we're doing shortstop, okay? You want your player to practice throwing that ball and working on that diving catch. So first, we'll get our baseball, we'll put it into our glove. Okay, we'll take that ball into our glove and we're gonna lay completely down as if we made that good catch. Okay, so boom, I'm a shortstop, I just laid out, made that good catch. Where do I wanna go next from there? Obviously, once we make that catch, we wanna stand up and throw that ball to first, right? But how do we do that? What's the best way to teach our kids how to make that diving play and complete that catch? So once we want, we want them to start wherever they would dive, so shortstop would be like in the sixth hole, third base, we go either way. We're lined up, laying down, and we're gonna pull our knees up to our chest. So boom, I make that catch. We're going to push up, bring our knees to our chest, collect ourselves, and get ready to make that throw. So again, we're laying down, make our catch. We wanna push up on our hands and bring our knee up to our chest. So in full speed, we're laying down, made our catch, boom, push up, knees to our chest, and get ready, get ready to throw. So that drill is really going to help us practice our form. Now, obviously we don't only make catches with our backhand, right? So if we wanna make catches with our forehand, we do the same thing, right? We go out with our glove, reach out, okay? We wanna be able to be in a position where we would normally be for a shortstop or whatnot. We reach out, okay, same scenario. Boom, I made my diving catch. I'm going to push up, so catch, push up, knees to my chest, get my feet aggressive towards first base, and that aggressive movement with our feet is going to help us get our throw over there to first base. But what if we are a first baseman? Okay, so what if you're a first baseman and you wanna work on these diving things? I'm gonna run over to first base and I'm gonna show you guys right now. So now we transition a little bit from that shortstop area middle infield kind of spots over to first base. First base, we're gonna use the same kind of footwork and movement, except we're gonna have somebody at the back for us to do our flip. Okay, you can also have it where you throw to the shortstop, wherever we dive and catch, but again, we wanna have our players completely laid out. So he's the first baseman, boom, he goes to make the catch. Okay, we're gonna push up, push up with our arms, bring our knees to our chest, have him collect himself and give that good feed in his legs. And same thing with our backhand. We go out, lay out with our backhand, push ourselves up, and give that underhand flip. Again, guys, remember the key, do not panic. Stay under control. This drill here is really going to help you guys make those plays with those diving catches. 
So we've gone over the mechanics of how to catch that ball when we dive and how to throw that ball when we dive. But what does that drill look like? Again, like I said, you'll have each player go to their positions, okay? So say you have two shortstops, right? You have a third baseman, a second baseman. They're all gonna be starting at their backhand. So you have your shortstop laid out on the ground. He'll be laying out. Third baseman will be laying out. And as a coach, you'll say, go. Once you say go, the third baseman will stand up, throw it across the diamond. They'll say go again. Shortstop will stand up, he will throw across the diamond. Um, go, second baseman will get up, he'll throw across the diamond. Go, first baseman will get up and he'll do his thing. You can continue to go through that as many times as you want as a coach. You can switch to forehand, you can switch to, you know, maybe you got it way deeper, maybe you're practicing your slides. You can do all of that from the ground and it will help your players to get that footwork of what they should do when they dive. So in the game, it'll come like second nature. Again, remember, don't panic. Okay, once we get onto that ground, we bring our knees up to our chest. Once we've done our knees to our chest to stand up, we wanna gain that ground towards first base, get our feet in a good position to make that throw. So those are the three keys on how to make a diving catch in baseball and complete that play. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate all the feedback and support. If you guys have a question, go ahead and leave a question or comment down below. We're here to help you guys develop your prospects and as always, keep developing.